Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Are you familiar with Mr. Bacon? You mean the guy who's on the screen right now, Kevin Bacon? Kevin's Bacon. He has a very uh, memorable face, I is what I will say. Punchable say. face. Yeah. What do you remember about his face? I'm, I, like, I couldn't tell you a single movie he's been in. Um, I couldn't tell you a single show that he's been in. Wasn't he in Chicago Fire? I don't think he does shows. Wasn't he on Backdraft? That's a movie. Wasn't he in... I See, yeah, I couldn't tell you anything. I don't know, like, what type... Does he do action movies? Does he do romance movies? I wonder what, like... Does he write novels? I don't know. Like, if I, like, Google Kevin Bacon movies, I wonder what one comes up first. Probably Footloose, because that was, like... When he was young, I don't know, Jonas. I'd I figure that. Oh, Footloose, Tremors, and Hollow Man were the first three that pop up. He was in Hollow Man. Okay, I actually and, saw Hollow Man. So and I, Tremors. I oh, I've seen Tremors. It, it too. was it was a uh, be, be yeah. real Dune. Okay, I do recognize his face from when I'm dealing with the graboids. So, so okay, so what? Kevin make bacon. Yeah, salute your white king, Jonas. Oh, wow. oh, Jesus Christ! What? <laughs> that was Tom what? Hanks. That was Tom Hanks. No, Jonas. Uh, now it's Kevin Bacon. I mean, he's a white king, is he not? I mean, you just, tell me. Just because I'm white doesn't mean I worship all the other white kings. I'm not saying that you should worship all the white kings, but he's a white king, is he not? Is Kevin Bacon know. not a white king? I don't know. He decided that being a king was too much, though. He decided that the crown was too heavy. Yeah, his his crown was too heavy. I feel that Kevin Bacon mm -hmm. says he he wanted to go out. He always had said he had a dream of knowing what it was like to be a regular dude. Oh, Jesus What a pompous-ass celebrity thing to say. I mean... Oh, oh, my God. My life's so hard as a rich-ass celebrity we, out here. We like to call those Kardashian statements, all right? Is that, is that That's what That's a is? Kardashian head-ass statement he to make. He just wants to know what it's like to be a regular guy. Yeah, well, tell him to come so, see me and, and he, I'll and show he him. Said, and he said, you know, sometimes I can wear a hat and some sunglasses, but that only gets me so far. I can't really get out here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, so he decided to wear full blown like makeup just so he looked like a totally different person, like special effects makeup. Sure. And and he's what he said about it was. Nobody recognized me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the whole point, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, right. Kev? And, then, and here's the most. Here's the most celebrity-ass statement I've ever heard. Oh, jeez. Here it comes. People were kind of pushing past me, not being nice, he recalled. Nobody said I love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So I had to wait in line to, I don't know, buy a fucking coffee or whatever. Yeah. He swiftly realized he wanted to return to his A-life status. <laughs> But he's not even an A-lister, fam. I mean, maybe he's in like a, 1980 he was. Bro, he's a goddamn legacy act at this point in, in life, man. Yeah, he's like, like Bruce Willis. Yeah, it's not like he's doing like Disney movies or anything. He's not like on freaking Google Plus or anything. Nobody said I love you is the wildest Yo. ass statement that you have no idea what happens in a normal person's life no. that I've ever... You are so... So right. <laughs> like you just like like so I like right. like you just like go to the store and you're like nobody said I love you. Like you just go out and every time someone sees you, they're like I love you. Oh my god, you're Kevin Bacon. I love you. Yeah. Like guess what? what? Guess is... what, Kev? They don't mean it. Guess guess what else? Nobody loves anyone. Not, well, uh, well, hold the <laughs> fuck up, Jonas. <laughs> we're not <laughs> we're not taking love off the table. All right. I'm just saying is that when it comes down to it. <sighs> Okay, look, Jonas, I have come to the point that, okay. that I don't think that, that fans really love you. They just, they love what you bring they to the They idolize you, so it's, let, it's idolization love. No, 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 it's not idolization. I think that they might love your content. Like, Hollow Man was a okay movie. I was going to say. <laughs> All right. Phrasing. Tremors was a decent movie, right? So I really like those movies. I really like those movies. 
I like that Kevin Bacon was in those movies and that if I see him, it reminds me of that movie. But Kevin Bacon as a person, I don't love Kevin Bacon. You don't know anything about him. He's probably a big old a-hole. If he thinks everyone should be telling him I love you, he gets mad he's got a wait in line at Starbucks. I mean, we can get into his own fucked up work sensibilities and what Hollywood can do to a person's mind and what I feel like we should be wary of if we ever do like achieve any you, type of notoriety. Do you think that but, if you got famous, you'd be like, you forget that like you had to wait in coffee for like your whole life? Yeah, I was getting into that. Um, uh, no, Jonas, like I said, if we were ever to achieve any level of notoriety, I feel like these are some of the foibles that we have to look out for ourselves. It comes with affluence, gaining a lot of money, gaining a lot of attention. I've been watching the boys, okay? I've been watching a lot of the boys, and this is very, there's a lot of like social context that this mirrors on that show, all right? So, yes, we have to be, you have to, this, you can't be a jerk. You can't lose being grounded you know because once you get to the point where the fame and the adoration is what drives you as a person like you can't wake up in the morning you expect people to give you preferential treatment in you public you expect people to say i love you yeah preferential treatment in public then that is where it becomes problematic that is where it can become to a point where you're like i'm better than everybody is else. it his fault is it his fault, Jonas? Wow. That's like saying, is it the doctor's fault? Here comes a, is this here one of these, like, are you going to throw something out that doesn't really make the, the correlation? I was, I was, I was the going. doctor F's up your surgery. Is it his fault? <laughs> it's Same it, thing, basically. It's like, I think that this is a product of the industry a hundred percent i could never blame him because there are so many people that are also affected in the same way so we cannot necessarily say is that the disease is the uh the problem but it's more more or less the uh the vector that is the issue and the vector in this case would be the industry because that's the common denominator all of these people are in the industry all of these people are gaining lots of money notoriety people flock to them because they love the content that they produce mm -hmm. and i hope that one day people love the content that i produce and if you ever come up and you see me in the streets and you say you love me i know what you really mean and i respect you for and I, I appreciate you for consuming but that's really what it is man people like the content it's the industry in a whole it's human nature like you can't fight against that well yeah if, if no one ever tells you no you think you got great ideas diddy <laughs> the, the diddy parable yeah i mean yeah. So it, yeah, if if, if it's it's bow wow, and and then and then there's the opposite side of the coin, Jonas, that he felt, whereas he lost it all. He felt he felt that brief moment of losing it all, who? losing all that fame and notoriety. Kevin Bacon. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I said bow wow because yeah, I was like, wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> it's because I thought of bow wow losing a lot of the notoriety he had. Like when bow wow was a kid, he was like really like one of the hottest things among kids of his age range. But over the years, like he hasn't really produced any more music, and he's kind of fell off. You know, and like people don't even like you see bow wow on the streets. You're not gonna be like, oh my god, it's bow wow, like. I'm not. At least I'm I not. I call him Lil Bow Wow. Like, I feel like if I saw Kevin Bacon in the street, I'd be like, oh my God, Kevin Bacon. Why doesn't he just go by Wow? <laughs> That's a good point, Joe. He, he goes, he goes, by, he goes, wow. he goes by Bow Wow. Bow Wow? What does it's, he go by Bo? So the reason that he goes by Bow Wow, Jonas, is because he was little. He was Snoop Dogg's prodigy at the time when he was a kid. But he was Master P's son. And if you think about it, if you are, I don't know, twelve years old, and your and your your prodigy is the most, I would say the most famous rapper to ever walk the earth. If you go to Korea and you say Snoop Dogg, they know. If you go to Japan and you say Snoop Dogg, you go to Russia and you say Snoop Dogg, they're going to pull up a picture and show you on your phone. Bow Wow had a great mentor. He just didn't follow through like Snoop. You know, he didn't have a work drive. And that's fine. But that's not the point. The point is that when Kevin Bacon felt that he lost it all, he went through the other part of the, of the, industry, uh, the industry model where 
when a person loses it all and they feel that that mental depression of losing that fame. And he was like, no, I need fame again. Like, I'm sure that motherfucker did this little life experiment, this little social experiment. And he, he called his fucking, he called his bookie, not his bookie, his, his agent. Jesus Christ. He, he called his agent. It's like, when can we get something going? I need to get another movie. I need to get my face out there. I need to rekindle the flame. He's like, can we do Footloose 2? That would be great. Can we do Tremors 9? Tremors. Look, honestly, if Tremors came back, Kevin Bacon's going to be a part of it. I don't think so. They made I a think lot he of would. They I made a lot of them without him. But it would be cool to bring him back. Everybody would be like, you do the, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the Leonardo DiCaprio point. I don't know what you're talking Yes. <laughs> from old country, from old man, when he's like... <laughs> No, not oh no, uh, from a uh, Hollywood story with Brad Pitt, Leonardo what DiCaprio, the, and Brad Pitt. Right Leonardo now? DiCaprio, and Brad Pitt, Jones. What movie did they do? I don't. Once upon a time in Hollywood. There we go. I mean, in that movie, he goes and he points at the screen. Why do you not know memes? That's the real problem. You're the pro. I'm not the pro. You're the pro. In the episode, Christtown.com. This guy jump. I feel like him. Yep, for Sorry. Jonas. TNT. Oh yeah.